Hi guys, so I am here with a, another try on haul. Uh, most of these items did come from Timu, and um, but I do have a maybe a few that came from. Actually, it might only be one. One came from Ross, one came from Burlington, and then the rest of the outfits came from uh, Timu. So. Oh, well, let me just get into the video. I don't want to say overall what I thought, this, that, and the third. Let me just make sure. Okay. That's off. So, I'm going to stand back. This one is one of my favorites, I should say. Um, it is off the shoulder. Of course, you can see that. Um, it has a lot of pleating, I guess, or gathering. I don't know what you want to call it, but... Let me just stand back so you can see the outfit. And I'm going to have to tilt it down a little bit so you might not be able to see my face. So I haven't really gotten this whole thing um, together together. But I'm trying to minimize all this mess in my background so it won't be that much of a distraction. Um, so any hoodle, here is the dress. All of these items are in a size large. So they are... To me, true to fit, because I am in a large now. So let me just turn around. Here's the back. I'm loving the flirtiness of the little ruffles. And then I also like that it has the little um, gathering, rouging, or whatever this pleated little um, material is, because it's very, very forgiving. Now keep it, this dress is hella stretchy, stretchy. Like I have so much room in it. I love the dress. I mean, I could have probably downsized to a medium, but why? When it would have had me looking like Michelin girl, probably stuff poking and spilling over and all of that. So I love this outfit and I figure I could play it um, with some maybe, I was going for maybe some brown like shoes or something. I got some earrings that I was gonna show you guys later but these are like wooden earrings and I thought that these would be cute with it let me come up so you can see I got this pair also I got this pair all of these came from Timu I wasn't able to find a um like a wooden bangle or anything but I just thought that these would be really cute and they all came in this five pack um I'll let you guys know the cost when I actually sit down to give you my overall opinion of it, what I thought of the quality, um, the material. And I kind of did that a little bit with this dress, but yeah, that's it. Okay, and here is the second one. Now try to imagine this without the shapewear. Like I stated, I'm not really going to be changing the shapewear up, but you can always pull it up so there is no gap but I think it adds a little bit more. Well, let me just back up to the outfit. Want, you know, to have a little bit of skin showing in between, like a little stomach area showing. Um, it's more flirty, it's more, I think, um, just overall more um, body pleasing to me anyways, to my body style. Um, yeah, and it, it too has the little ruffles at the bottom. So I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't really necessarily going for all the ruffles, but I am going to a um what I do I want to say tropical? Um I guess. But I definitely want it to be vacation ready. So all of the colors really play into, you know, going on vacation in a, a nice warm climate. So this is what it looks like from the back. And then of course from the side. And I kind of just took the, you know, the shapewear down on one side just so you could see what it looks like. Come up a little bit. And I am really liking the fit in all of these items. Like I said, they are all in a large, much room, very much so that um, if I go down or up, it still should be 
pretty accommodating to my, my size, my weight, because of the fact that it has so much rouging in it. And um, kind of like the other dress, I think that even if I were to go down a couple pounds, it'll still be pretty flattering, so. Okay. Alright, so let's try on the next item. Okay, so this one I really debated on whether or not this one came in uh, this color, green and white. It came in black and white. It came in blue and white. And so blue is my favorite color, but I don't know what made me go with the green. I think it just looked uh, more flattering or it looked better on the model. I don't know, but I mean, I do like the dress. Let me just stand back. It is an off the shoulder number as well. Um, not so much, much, but I can make it more if I want to. But I like how it gathers here and kind of, you know, it's forgiven to the fupa once again. Um, okay, so back to the green dress. I really, really like the whole i said i wasn't gonna tell y'all what i liked about it huh but anyway here's the back um i don't know if it's a little i like the fact that it is um off the shoulder you can make it as off the shoulder if you like or you can pull it up and wear it like that for a more church type style if I wanted to wear this to church. I don't know, but you know what? It has a little too much leg showing to be wearing it up in anybody's uh, praise worship house. Anyway, so I would most definitely be wearing it like this because I think it just, it adds a little something to it. Like I said, it has a little peekaboo for your little leg situation. Um, but yeah. I think the green one was the perfect choice. I don't know. I did, now I did buy shoes, but all of the shoes are poorly made. They are cheap. I can see me sliding right through the shoe, falling on my face. So we're gonna have to get some other shoes because none of the shoes I got, well, I don't even think any of the shoes that I did pick up went with this anyway. Now that I look at the other stuff, none of them match with the stuff that I did pick up. Probably the pink ones will go with the last outfit, but I'll show them to you guys. But let me go ahead and get to the next outfit. This um, dress, this is a large, but the top is hella tight. The skirt is kind of tight, but it does have stretch to it. Um, but yeah, let me just stand back. This is very long. It's still going like, I know you guys can't probably see the bottom and I don't want to tilt it down because my toe situation, but um, let me see if I stand up a little bit. You still can't see the bottom, but let me just see if I can put it down just a tad bit more. Okay. Okay, so this is the length it is like ankle length. Um, I did pull it up some. It was even longer than that, but I pulled it up just so that it can have a little rouging to it. Kind of like I said, it gives you a forgiving up in this area. Plus, it was too, too long. So, I thought this would be perfect just to um, kind of go out to dinner maybe, have a night out. Um, yeah, to dinner. But, I don't know how I feel about these. I guess it adds something to it, but they could have just well been gone for me and just had a nice little, you know, two-piece skirt set. It kind of reminds you of a dress because it doesn't have any, um, and maybe it would look different on a taller girl, but y'all know my little five, three, five, four. And, um, but I like it. I do like it. It still hugs. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. Now this, I don't know, cause that look like it's sagging. 
This too could probably go with the um, little brown for my little wooden accessories. But I do have to get, like I said, like a cuff, probably like a wooden cuff or something like that to go with the little earring. But I like it. I think I like this most of all. The fact that it has this little slanted little situation right here. I don't know if you would call that asymmetrical or whatnot, but yeah, I like that. And then this kind of slants to the other side. So I thought that just added something to it. So, I mean, you could also wear the shirt with a different bottom if you so choose to, because it is a two piece. And um, there's a lot of room in this skirt as well. So I don't know, you could probably you know, just kind of hike it a little if you wanted to show a little bit of skin. Um, yeah. All right, on to the next. Now this one I really, really, really love the color. Um, and again, you gotta imagine this without the underneath. I mean, you can pull it up if you liked and just to not have any skin showing, but the whole idea of the dress is to have that little peekaboo area there. Just enough skin, not much, but a little. So, let's see. And this is another like going out to dinner type of dress. Um, I would see maybe some strappy sandals, even though it's pretty long. Now the back, it kind of just, it, you know, it is one full dress, it's not a two piece, but I don't know. I like the front a whole lot more than I do like the back. I'll say that. Now this right here, I don't know how I feel about it because it's just too much material if you ask me. Um, all of, Like I said, all of these things are in a large. I was able to get these things in the large. Nothing was out of stock, so that was good. Um, and I think this is what I most enjoy about this is the fact that it has this kind of crisscross situation, but uh, yeah. All right, the next one, here we come. But okay, so most of the dresses have this, that's it. I mean, I don't go too crazy with the midriff and the crop top and all of that, but I do think just showing a little bit of something you know, adds to the sexiness of the dress. So this one, I was not aware when I purchased it that it had all these little holes in it. Can you see that? And that's all over the dress. So I'm not even sure what I would wear underneath this. Should I just wear panties and a bra? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Um, do I wear shorts, <laughs> my little slip shorts? Uh, Cause it, it's holes like literally all over the ass as well. Um, I am gonna be on vacation, so maybe I can, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know. I was gonna say something about a bathing suit or, but this is not anything that I would wear on the beach or anything. It has long sleeves, which I kind of enjoyed that part of it as well. Um, I would wear this out like you know just going out somewhere so maybe the underwear and bra would match because anywhere that I would go would be dark you know what I mean so I don't know I really really like this dress though I love the part where it kind of rouges up again um so I think that's the key for me is kind of like a little rouging in this area and um yeah so I think this is a nice dress. All of these items fit well, fit to the T. They're not too big, they're not too small. So that, you know, everything is pushed in and seeping over. So I do like that about it. Um, yeah, and then this one is kind of knee length, if you can see, yeah. Just, well, probably a little bit below my knee. But it's very flattering. 
I do love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let's see. So how many more outfits I have to go? Um, okay. So I have a couple left. I say the least, the ones that, well, I won't say the ones I like least the, for last, but I am going to, um, and I don't know that I'll be trying on a bathing suit. I might though. I guess I might. Yeah, I, I probably will. Okay, and then this one is just a bodysuit, so I don't have to try that on. It's just a white kind of crisscross bodysuit. I don't know what pants or bottoms I'm going to wear with it. If I'm going to get like a little long midi skirt or, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a skirt girl, so I feel more comfortable in skirts. There used to be a time where I felt more comfortable in a pants, set, suit, or something to that effect. But yeah, I guess as I get older, I feel more comfortable in skirts. So let me go ahead and get to the next one. So here is one of the only pants suits that I did get. I did get one other one. Um, this one came from Timu. The other one that I'm gonna try on came from Burlington. But um, yeah, I like it. It fits nice. It has a lot of room in it. The top is kind of, you know, fly away, but of course I'm gonna have to wear a um, um, strapless bra with this one. Um, yeah, so the back kind of looks like that. Like I said, it's nice and flattering. It's in my staple color, black and white. I try not to get anything actually in, uh, well, both of the pants suits are black and white. The other one is more on the gray side, gray and white, but still in that color range. So yeah, I really like this top. It's gonna be kind of hot or very hot, I should say. So I'm thinking that this is going to be nice. It shows a little bit of stomach area. So again, with the midriff, I really like it. And I hope you guys can hear me over Hurricane making all that doggone noise. But yeah, let's go ahead and try the next one on. I'm gonna just slide right into it. And again, this one I did get from Burlington. So let me go ahead and take this off. <coughs> I definitely have to get some shoes to go with. This I can pretty much guarantee I have shoes to go with this black. So I definitely have black shoes. Um, yeah. So I was just going to take off this top. And then with the top though, it's not really made that well. So I'm not even sure that after a good wash, that it won't like, I don't know. I'm not gonna even speak it into existence, but, cause I really like that outfit. So the next one, like I said, came from Burlington. Uh, I was happy to find it because Burlington is just all over the place. I mean, I thought Ross was kind of, you know, crazy and in shambles but Burlington is a whole nother story like you can hit or miss definitely hit or miss um so these are my favorite style pants drawstring wide leg um just real real flattering to me anyway on my body type um the top is really really cute oops it has a little tie in the back let me see if I'm gonna be able to tie it by my lonesome. Yeah, just put that on down there too. Cause I don't have time. I done held you guys up long enough. I'm trying not to make this video too, too long. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna have to put this over my head. I love a good two-piece situation, so 
I was sold as soon as I saw it. Ooh, honey. Okay. All right. Got my hair all in the damn way. Let me just put it in a little, I don't want to tie it too tight so that I can't get up out of it. But I'm going to put it in a little bowl. Mm -mm. Girl, I'm not going to be able to tie it as tight as I want it to, being that I'm tying it by myself, but you can still get the gist of the outfit itself. Let's see. And then, yeah. So that is kind of, you know, crop top-ish. This is going to be a little bit tighter whenever I do actually wear it like that but i do enjoy this outfit as well this is really really cute the only thing i think it is missing is some pockets i love a good <laughs> pocket so that i you know kind of have something to do with my hands but anyway i really enjoy this outfit as well it's very very loose fitting um has a lot of room in it it's really cute in the back area so I don't know. I'll probably wear a little bra with it. This, these girls ain't gonna hold themselves up. But if I tie it tighter, I think then it'll hold itself up. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let me know which one you guys like of the pants suits. Which one do you like the most? Um, this one I do enjoy the top one it as well as like i said these are my favorite style pants but those pants are the same um the drawstring doesn't really work so they're more elastic in the waist and then it just has a tie right there but i do enjoy that top so yeah let me know what you guys think um all right now i don't even know if i want to try this one on Ugh. That's why I need to hang and throw all these hangers away. Shoot. Okay, wait. Yeah, these are beginning to get on my nerves. All right, so put that on the other side. Okay, so anyway, the only reason why I'm skeptical about trying this on, first and foremost, I thought it was a two-piece. Um, a skirt and a top. I did not know it was this type of material. I kind of thought it was more of a, like a jersey knit type of um, material. And then, if you can tell, the whole top is like dyed red. And that came from the way that they had it packaged. It's all red in the back. It's just really not a, not, you know, not a quality item. Um, but I am going to go ahead and just try it on just for the sake of trying it on. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. These little hangers put this stuff back on. I was dreading this, which is why it took me so long. I mean, for a minute, I was waiting on a couple items to come in. Um, that's the other thing with Timu is that everything doesn't always come from the same seller. So you have to, um, you know, wait a little bit for some of your items because they're coming from different places. So let me go ahead and throw this on really quick. I don't even know where I would wear this to with all this dye all over it. Um, I 
And like I said, I was really looking for to a different type of material, not this cheaply made material, but again, it is Timu, so. Okay, I see. So it is midi -land. Um, I thought this was like a t-shirt material, so this was an actual t-shirt and this was a skirt, but this is what it's looking like. I don't know how I feel about this. If, yeah. Like I said, that red just threw me off. I don't know if it's, you know, if you can see it really well with it worn, but it has dye all over it. Now the dress does fit nicely. It cinches you in in the waist, um, but <clears throat> it just, it was a disappointment because of the material. So that's all I can say. If you can see, it's kind of like a, what is this called? Like nylon or something? I don't know, but it isn't what I thought it was gonna be. So I doubt if I'll take it on my vacation, unless just to, you know, kind of run an errand or something. I don't know that I would wear it anywhere. So lastly, we're gonna try on this bathing suit. I did order some pajamas, but I'm not going to try those on. They came three in a pack as well. I've already worn one set of them, but I guess I'll just show them to you guys. Um, yeah, this is all caught up on the shorts, but I have a brown set, olive green set, and then another burgundy set as well. And it's just some little sleep shorts with the little top. It was very, very comfortable to sleep in. So I did get these to take on my trip as well so that I'll have <clears throat> something cool to sleep in because it's really, really warm. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and try on this bathing suit. And that's gonna be the last thing in this haul. Um, I did have some other earrings and um, two handbags to show you. So I'm gonna get this. What the hell did I do with the, oh, here it is. Get that one here. So put that there. Now with this, ciao. Pants on sale. Ugh. I did pick up these little pants here, which is the little infamous pants with the little things on the side. You know, the little shimmies that everybody was wearing last summer and probably this summer too. But I got that anticipating that it would go with this. Now it did come with the little skirt on its own, so I can kind of switch it up if need be but i think i'm gonna try it on with the pants first this is a one shoulder number and the only thing that i do not like about it is it has these cups in the inside and so um yeah they tend to mess up when they're washed so just gonna go ahead and slide this right on up um And I fell in love with this bathing suit because of all these colors. Um, let's see, okay, all right. <clears throat> kind of loose on the one side, but nevertheless, it's still cute, still cute. So let's see, this is in the, the, of course, the bathing suit is in a size large. I got these in a size large as well. And did I say these came from Burlington? But yeah, they were only like, what, $7.99, $4.99? No, $7.99, so <clears throat> that was a good little steal. All right, so I think it's really cute.
uh, how long the uh, long time that these have been out. This is my first time ever purchasing a pair, and in pink. Now y'all know I normally do black, but I think it's really cute. Real cute. They're not too tight, so of course I still have room in them. They fit nicely around the waist. Now let's try it on with the skirt. But I do believe it'll be equally as cute. So I have these on a hanger. But, 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 but. They fit right off of the hanger. So maybe I need a cloth or not the cloth, but the felt. Let's see. Go ahead and try taking these off. Taking this one off of the hanger that it's on and putting it on here. Because this should be okay on this hanger. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that on there and then put these pants on this type of hanger so they don't slide around and fall off. Okay. There we go, no sliding. Um, so. Here's a little skirt situation. I do really, really enjoy these colors together. Um, I think this was a little big, if I'm not mistaken, but I can always just tie it extra tight. Yeah. There's a little peekaboo leg action. Um, yeah. So I really like this bathing suit. I didn't get but one. Um, I don't know why I didn't get more, being that I'm going to, you know, a beachy type of environment. I should have gotten at least two of them just to switch in between them. Now I did purchase a couple of other ones. Where did I get those bathing suits from? I can't even remember, but I know that they are too big. I, I believe I did get them from Timu as well, like a while back, but they are too big. So I decided to, you know, get another one. Um, I also have a all black bathing suit as well with a little cover up. So I can always take that to switch between. But yeah, that is the end of the haul. Um, I did get also this little um, situation. This is poorly made. Now, I'm just going to say that right away. It's a little um, robe with a hoodie, which that, I mean, I can live with that. But this shirt is absolutely, the V is not even really a V. I don't know, it's slanted or something. The material is not really that good. It's supposed to be like, a, I guess, a scam's dupe. But for what I paid for it, I wouldn't say it's too bad. Here are the little shorts that go along with it. So it's a three piece set, has the shorts, the little tank top, and then the robe. So that is it guys. I finally finished this try on haul. Um, again, like, comment, always subscribe, you know the deal. And in this, tell me what guys, which one, which outfit caught your eye, which ones look best on me. Um, so yeah, those two things. So which one you like the most and then which one is more flattering. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. So peace and hair grease and all of the things, honey. So just let me know. I never even tried this on. Let me just try this little number on. I should have known it was going to be long enough, but all right. I don't know how I feel about it not having like something to close it up with, but 
it comes just below my butt so that'll be nice with the shorts and you know because it's always cold in those hotel rooms and whatnot so i'm definitely gonna just pack this to be on the safe side of things but um like i said guys that was it like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one okay so lastly i did say that was the last outfit but i failed to show you guys the sunglasses as well as a couple pair of earrings that i picked up i showed you guys the wooden earrings but i did get some other wooden earrings as well just in different colors so here's the pair here in red um I'm too lazy to take them all out hold on so i don't know if this is a red or a pink but that's the color right there. Let me just try to get more light, I guess. Yeah, this is more light. That one, I did get it in a, is it a yellowish brown, I guess? That, I got them in a bone beige color. As well as black. And they are wooden as well. Um, let's show you the other ones I got. Then I'll show you how these sunglasses look. Because I, I got these brown ones. I did get some black, black ones as well, of course. But I've already worn those. So they're in my eyeglass case. My little sunglass case. Um, and then I did get these as well. that little brown with the little knocker. It kinda look like a door knocker type of deal, but that's all wooden. And then that is kinda like that wood um, roping kinda um, material. I also picked up this little, what I was thinking it would be a crossbody bag, but I don't know, it looks so cheap. Um, maybe once I put some stuff in it, I did also get a pair of shoes, the same gold color, and maybe that's what just makes it look that much cheaper to me. But, woo, this, woo, chain cold. <laughs> Let me just step back a little bit. I picked this outfit up at Ross some time ago. I just could not fit it. Now I can fit it, but if you notice, the back is all the way open, the zipper broke. It's not because it's too small. I don't know. Maybe it always had a malfunctioning um, zipper. So I'm going to have to take that to the dry cleaners and get that zipper fixed. But here are the glasses. Let me just show you guys what they look like up close. Let me just stand this up a little bit more. All right. Tilt it back and voila. I like these glasses and they are in good quality. I mean, they're not the best quality, but they're not like, um, um, they're not too flimsy. I love the brown, the bronze looking color. I love these glasses. So there it is. And like I said, that is it for sure this time. I did want to just come back and show you guys the glasses, the earrings. Um, but that was pretty much all the accessories that I did pick up. Um, I wasn't too sure about it. I was kind of certain about the glasses. Actually, I have two other pair of glasses. So I will most likely come back and show you guys. I have a like a beige pair as well as the black ones I was telling you about. So yeah, I'm gonna go get them and be right back. All right guys, so I was able to locate both pair. So let me just prop you up. I done took down the tripod and all that. Now this one came in this little makeshift little case. At least they had a case because the other ones just came in a, a um, plastic wrap. So these, that's what they look like. 
I don't know. They say something on the side. I think they wanted to say Dior, but they say something else. But nevertheless, I still like them. I think they look really cute on me. I love a big glass, you know, big glasses. And I think you can get a better view of what they look like in here. As opposed to being in the content room. All right, so let me try on the other pair. And the other pair is just, like I said, they were like the other bronze looking ones, except for these are black with the gold in the middle. Let's see. So, okay, and that's them. Anybody that knows me knows I love a good pair of sunglasses, honey, because it completes your outfit. So, that's it this time. That's absolutely everything. Um, I'm not going to say that because I did pick up a couple of other items just as far as like some little lashes. Um, I got some little individual uh, lash clusters as well as, well, not lash clusters because they're just individual ones, but I guess they can be considered clusters because they um, are like several hairs on one, um, on one base. So I guess they could be considered um, classic, not classic, <laughs> cluster lashes. But then I also got some strip ones very cute little cat eye ones so i'm looking forward to wearing those and i picked up some nails i also picked up a couple of ear cuffs um i did get them in silver and gold but let me just show you guys what that looks like it's this up here of course you know that and so um i got them in gold and i got some in silver i think they came like 12 in a pack so I got those, and then also I got some little um, press-on nails. They're kind of long, so I'm debating whether or not I'm going to put them on now or beforehand, I should say, because I'm definitely going to put them on when I go to vacation. So I don't know if I should just take them with me and then do my nails there, but they're really, really long, and so if I have to pull up on my shapewear or something, I'm afraid that either A, I'll pop them off, or B, they'll stick holes in my shapewear. So I'm going to just play it by ear. They are kind of like about this long, so they are really long compared to the ones that I wear these days. So anyway, guys, like and comment. Always comment. You know, I'm going to respond back to you and subscribe so i'm gonna really really end it this time <laughs> because i have to it's about seven o'clock i have to get dinner well i'm gonna eat a salad for dinner but i gotta get my grandson dinner and yeah here are the I'm, i can show you guys the little nails let me put these back over in my eyeglass area is that another pair of glasses or is that just a box? <sighs> All right, wait a minute. I got so much crap in here that I can't hardly. Let's see. Oh, this is glasses too. Oh, no, these are the glasses that I got. I ordered these from Timu too. And these come in different colors. They came in like a set of eight, I want to say. Eight. Got brown, like, yeah, they came in a whole bunch.